hello everyone welcome to another video in this video I will tell you about how we can highlight different items row in gallery control while working with canvas apps you can see here in my screen there th this is a gallery control and where it loads the student information from dataverse there are some records which are having red color in background and there are some records which are having green color at the background so how it is done right how we can uh, define the color of the background of different items dynamically according to the item row uh, information right next also you will see here there is a small dot here there are some items who are having green uh, red color dots and there are some records which are having green dots right so this way you can visually represent some data items so that you can understand why some items are colored and why some items are not colored for example i have implemented if the student is female the background color should look like uh, slightly reddish and if it is uh, if it is male candidate male student the background of the item will uh, display uh, slightly uh, yellow uh, slightly green color right that's why you can see here this is a female candidate that's why it is red color and this is a male candidate that's why it is uh, uh, green color next I'm, i have implemented some uh, logic here uh, to display some indicator if the candidate or the student age is more than 18 then it should display green color if the student candidate is less than 18 it will display red color right so how this is implemented also you will see if you mouse over it will give some nice transition uh, push transition right when you mouse over any record and another important thing is i have also implemented this slider right which will connected with age field so that you can use this slider to filter the uh, age of the students which is below seven right so if you change this it will display all the records all the students whose age is greater than or equal to 17 right also i have implemented uh, the functionality of search here right let's say i want to find roy below 23 age any student whose name contains roy having uh, below 23 age then it will display if i will make it larger then it will also filter out right now if so there are two students whose age is below 35 and the name contains roy so the search and filter is combinedly working plus the highlighting filters highlighting records is also a new thing we have implemented here and also another important thing is if you create a new record let me create a new record and i want to create a new record here i can upload a photo for uh, that student and i can define a date of birth Now the date of birth is given now i will save it so what it will happen this record will automatically created in dataverse but it will highlight also in the gallery so any record that is freshly created within two minutes that will be highlighted for you right others are not highlighted you see here right but this record is highlighted because i have implemented something using power fx that if you have recently created some records within two minutes then it will highlight like this right if after two minutes you will refresh the highlighting uh, option will be go away right so how it is done we will discuss today so go to the uh, editor canvas app editor first i will show you how the background color of items row or row items of the gallery changes according to the row item value 
so what i have done in the first row i have put a shape called as rectangle you will see here this is the rectangle right this rectangle you can insert rectangle using this option you can drag a rectangle here and drop it here so that it will display in all items so what i have done i have shaped this to fill the item and right clicked reorder to backward send back what it will do the um, rectangle will go back side of the item right so i have done this and the next what i have done in the rectangle in the rectangle what i have done on the fill property i have done some i have written some power fx i am checking if this item the current item gender equal to gender dot female make fill the color of the rectangle edge rgba something which is slightly uh, reddish otherwise slightly greenish right slightly green rgba color you know that red green blue and alpha so you can define the if it is female then it will define the first color if it is not female it will fill the second color that's why it is displaying this way right this is for male color background of the rectangle which is available in the item and this is green color rectangle for this male candidate this is the first option right how i can uh, how we highlight different items according to the value of the item row so i have done for uh, so i have done for fill property of the rectangle to display the color according to the gender next this dots so there is a uh, shape i have taken circle shape and the, in, in circle shape you can get here in the insert panel drag a drag a circle uh, drag a circle uh, uh, shape onto the first row and in the fill property you can mention like this if this item dot age greater than 18 mark it as green or fill it as green otherwise fill it as maroon okay so here you understand so if age is greater than 18 then the fill color will be green otherwise it will be maroon so you can understand here if you go to model driven app you will see these are the uh, records student records and this is the age some are more than 35 and some are below uh, some are 10 and some are 12 right so this age will be matched and checked that if it is smaller than 18 it should display a red color fill that's why i have written here if this I, this item means the current row item right that you are uh, uh, that is uh, you know uh, in the current item so this item dot age greater than 18 then it will feel green otherwise it will feel maroon right that's why that's why if you run it you will see some are red color and some are green now you can see here ujjal kumar it is green because it is greater than 18 check that here this is ujjal kumar and age is 34 greater than 18 so that's why it is green if you check bharat kumar it is red now it should be smaller than 18 so go to bharat kumar and check the age it is 12 right that's why according to the age you can change the color of shape in each item so that it will give some visual representation of data you can implement something like this uh, if a student is having some outstanding amount payment then you can highlight a red color or something like that you can implement right and about this push transition you can implement using the gallery property so click on the gallery and go to here in the property panel called as transition and in the transition i have used push so that it will give you a push effect if you click on pop and run it it will give you pop effect right on the mouse over right and regarding this highlight recently created record highlighted how it is done I have gone to the shape rectangle shape I have implemented for each item and in the border thickness I have implemented something the power effects is if date difference between this item the current item created on record 
record created on field and now the current time and the record created on difference minutes is smaller than 2 then only give highlighted so highlighted otherwise uh, do not show highlighted that means the border thickness becomes 5 if the record created before 2 minutes otherwise if it is more than 2 minutes the highlighted will not be displayed now let us run it now the highlighted is displayed but if you refresh it that will go away right because this is recently created and now it is more than 2 minutes it is created that's why the highlighted highlight thing will not appear right so the push uh, transition was better so you can change this transition as push so that it will give you push transition right so understand like that if you want to check the you know uh, the um, slider you can understand the code also here let me go to the slider in the slider every slider control has a minimum and a maximum value minimum value i have associated minimum property of the slider as mean students age that means it will calculate the minimum value of all students age and associate with the minimum value and in the maximum value also in the slider i have used maximum age of the students so this is the minimum age maximum age in between you can slide the uh, slider you can use the slider to filter the students so how this filter the students are filtered the student filter is done through the items property of the gallery here you will see filter age smaller than equal to slider one dot value right i have also implemented short functionality and also used uh, sort by columns which will display uh, which will display row uh, which will display students by their roll number as, as a descending order right that's why whenever you create new students the roll number is automatically created and sorted in the first row you can see here this is the auto number student id that is generated roll number and also the uh, delete is also implemented if you have not seen my first tutorial of canvas app you can use that uh, you can edit any uh, student using edit option and you can uh, click on this view more option which will give the more details about a student you can also delete a record if you want by using this trash button which will delete the uh, record from dataverse itself right like that if you want to create new students you can create new students by using the plus button and if you click on home it will navigate to the home screen so this is a simple method uh, i have already uh, told you in the um, basic session of canvas apps but this session was dedicated for uh, highlighting different item rows for a gallery depending on the values i hope you understand how it works thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel see you again bye Thank you.